Question number three, the Honourable Nanaima Huta. My question is to the Minister for Māori Development. Does he agree with the Auditor-General that one-third of the £137.6 million appropriated for whānau order was spent on administration and could have been spent on, quote, on those people and providers who whānau order was meant to help? End of quote. The Honourable Tu Mr. Speaker, uh, in response to the question, uh, I can say that while I welcome the findings of the Auditor General uh, and, his re and her report, I do want to emphasise that in 2010, uh, Whānau Water was a new initiative and required that level of administrative support. Many of the costs were one-off costs uh, for the design and implementation of the programme and included research and evaluation. So I believe that the building of this infrastructure was an important step in ensuring that long-term benefits for Whānau could be achieved. Supplementary question, the Honourable Nanaya Mahuta. Is he satisfied that the $7.9 million of taxpayer dollars allocated towards research and evaluation between 2010 to 2014 is justifiable, given that there is no published ethnicity data, no ability to measure short-term gains, no ability to measure outcomes across key government agencies in a consistent manner? The Honourable to level. Mr Speaker, my information says that the amount of money that was used on research and evaluation was $9.7 million, which equated to about 22.9% of the overall spend. And as I say, uh, the Auditor-General, uh, you can't have it both ways on one side call for accountability um, for the spending of funds for whānau water and, and not follow the fact that there was and clearly is the amount of money set aside for those sorts of things such as evaluation. Those things were put in place to ensure that the programme uh, did have a robust uh, background to it and was able to add to the development on into future years. Um, with that regard, um, if it's uh, 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 having cut away pretty much all of those costs identified, identified earlier, I'm told, uh, the, uh, the uh, officials tell me, that about 20 per cent was left, which under current circumstances, according to the information I have, is a pretty responsible amount of money available for the administration of the programme. Speaker. Point of order, the Honourable Nanaya Mahuta. The question was specific. Order. It wasn't necessarily order. debating order. the amount allocated, no. but the order. outcomes, whether order. outcomes Member were gained from that seat. allocation. I heard. The, I listened very carefully to the question. I listened very carefully to the answer. That question was certainly addressed. Supplementary question, Peter Peroni. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I am not here to talk about the question Mr. Speaker, supplementary to the Minister, how long will we have to wait before the issues raised within the Auditor General's report on Fano order are addressed? And if already, which of the issues have, have in fact been addressed? Speaker. The Honourable T. Order Raya Flavel, either of those supplementary questions. Mr. Speaker, the audit report was from 2010 2014, which was phase one of the rollout of Fana Water. We're now moving into a new phase, and I can give the member assurance that, as a minister, a new minister indeed, that I've taken up the recommendations of the Auditor General and intend to keep a close watch on how those are dealt with into the future. Supplementary question, the Honourable Nanaya Mahuta. Does he believe that the £6.6 .6 million for the three commissioning agencies was money well spent, and if so, are they best equipped to make decisions about funding of whānau order providers? The Honourable T. Urarao Flavel. Mr Speaker, the decision to roll out um, into a commissioning model was another bold move on the part of this government in association with the Māori Party and allows us to move into a new phase building on the information that came out of uh, the Auditor General's report and indeed the Commerce Commission uh, Productivity Commissioner's report. 
Um, so I'm comfortable enough with the fact that we are moving into a new phase and that commissioning agencies are an important ingredient in that picture. Having been around all of them, I'm clear that they have the processes and um, infrastructure in place to ensure that the same accountabilities are, de are uh, required for of ministers will in fact be able to be measured and reported back to the House as they're required to do to me as the Minister of the years to come. Supplementary question, Peter Paroni. To the Minister, can the Minister guarantee that the changes already made to whānau order ensure public funds can no longer go towards events such as Otaki's Rahui Rugby Club's $60,000 one day hui? And if not, why not? The Honourable T. Uraraya Flavel. Mr. Speaker, the approach taken with whānau order is that it's not about, uh, it's not one approach fits all and that there are many ways in, in which we can support families to achieve their goal of being resilient, of living healthy lives, of being economically sustainable, of being able to be full participants in society. I can say that uh, in answer to the question from the member that I will be take, having a close look as will the Final Water Partnership Group uh, looking at all proposals that come our way uh, but in the end we have commissioned uh, certain outcomes from the commissioning agencies. We expect those outcomes to be delivered. So, supplementary Sorry. question, the Honourable Nanaya Mahuta. In a nutshell, what outcomes has the Minister sought from the Whānau commis Order Commissioning Agencies? Honourable Te Urara Flavel. Those are far and wide ranging, a desire on the, on the part of this government and indeed myself as the Minister to have families to be, re be strong within themselves, to be resilient. Uh, and it can range from everything from helping those mums who happen to be associated with violent lives to be able to lead more safe, uh, uh, be able to live in a safe environment, a warm, healthy home, that, they, that the children will be brought up in a safe environment, all the way through to allowing those who want to seek a new way of doing uh, things in the economic development sphere to be able to do so. It's wide ranging and that's the beauty of Fine Order. Uh, supplementary question, the Honourable Nanaya Mahuta. Has the Minister sought an assurance from the Whānau Order Commissioning Agencies that existing Whānau Order providers are informed of the new contracting and funding process and that there is a clear timeline that has been explained to them to implement those decisions to support Whānau? The Honourable Te Urara Flavel. That that's a rather difficult question at this point in time because much depends on the budget and I'm, I'm, I'm a, unable to provide too much information about the budget, very good budget, uh, coming out shortly uh, and under those circumstances I'm rather restricted in what I can say uh, but, uh, uh, but uh, there is an expectation as I said. Uh, that uh, there's been so much work done in this particular kaupapa, I'm not about to let it lie as the Minister and ensure that systems and procedures in place will deliver the best possible results for Māori and indeed the country. Question number four, Simon O'Connor. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Health.